Hello, thank you so much for joining me and today we're going to be doing crafts, crafts with mudlarking finds. And welcome to yet another voted for by you crafts so it was neck and neck absolutely it was the percentage was the same it was 31% each for doing potion bottles and for doing candles so what I'm going to do is this week I'm going to be doing potion bottles and then the next time I do it I should be doing the candles because um, I have picked up something that I wanted, wanted to do to make a candle in okay so this week is going to be the potion bottles and I've been collecting the brown ones, the amber ones, for a while. This is just a, a small selection, okay? Um, I'm gonna decorate all these, hopefully make some sort of stoppers for them as well. I, I got this dome from a charity shop, okay? I think it was about pound fifty. I don't know what that is in dollars, $2.50, something like that. Not a great deal of money at all. Didn't come with the base, but I do have this wooden log slice. Um, this was £2.70, the price is still on the back, no idea where I got it from but it was £2.70 so yet again next to nothing price. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces, I've got some twine, I've got some gilding flakes as always, I've got the ephemera stuff to stick on as well, gilding glue, I have um, lots of metal and porcelain and all sorts of little bits of bits and pieces to try and make stoppers out of or just decorate the bottles I've got lots lots and lots all my pots of stuff here okay um basically I've got everything that I can think of <laughs> that I need I've also got my box of embellishment gosh I've had this years I've had it years and every now and again I delve into it <laughs> and this is full of oops, all sorts of metal bits and pieces and also some wooden cogs in there there's bird cages there's little mosaic tiles bird cages birds in okay little metal clock things oh, there's a bee even a little bee keep that out because i'll use that butterflies pins Tim Holtz, a lot of these things in here, not all, but a lot of Tim Holtz. I've got keys, in fact, yeah, when it comes to it, I should probably use a few bits and pieces out of here. It's got some nice, nice bits and pieces. Oh, what's that? Oh, a little circle. What can you use them for? I don't know, little circle stickers from Tim Holtz. Right, okay, so lots and lots of bits and pieces there that I can use. Um, to decorate it with. I don't want to do too much with the decorating on these bottles. Um, I want to leave them quite simple. Okay, but I want to do, obviously, words on the dome, because I always do words on the dome, don't I? Decorate this, decorate those, and let's see what we can put together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gild this um, log slice. I'm not going to gild it right to the edge. I'm just going to gild it a little bit bigger than this actual dome itself so I'm gonna it's not round so it's hard to center it exactly but I'm roughly gonna center it I'm just gonna mark it because I just want to gild past this okay just using a pen to mark the dome so I know to go a bit bigger in fact I might just draw a circle a light circle okay there we go just so as I know I want it bigger than that but 
roughly sort of a circle shape. So what we need is our gilding glue or gold, gold size. Okay, we've got that and we need a brush. Okay, I'm just going to apply this gilding glue to the base. So I'll just want it bigger by about a centimetre, doesn't really matter. Yep, just applying the glue all over. That's the base covered in that glue and I'm going to get my, sorry, a heat gun to dry it and then we can um, get on with gilding it. There you go, a few minutes of drying and it's done, ready for the gilding. Now right, let me just get a tray. Right, first one to hand. This one. Okay, I'm going to use, because everything's amber, dark, you know, brown, I'm going to use my favourite one anyway, which I've virtually always used, which is the autumn leaves. And this is um, Cosmic Shimmer. Now, please, if anybody wants to write to Cosmic Shimmer and tell them that I use and promote their stuff a lot, please do, because I would love <laughs> to get some... Um, some Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes and I can show it here. So yeah, feel free to drop them an email and tell them that I make stuff with their Gilding Flakes all the time. Okay, but as it, as it is, you know, I think a subscriber bought these for me actually. I was going to say I bought it, but these were bought for me. Right, you know the score. I'm going to chuck it on. Look at that, it's still full. I think this must be a new pot. This must be a new pot, but it's still full. Okay, let's get a lovely big brush. I'm gonna get a new one. These are just cheap brushes that I get um, from Quality Save. You get them from many cheap shops, but about 89p for five brushes. Okay, right, just you know the score just push the gilding flakes onto the glue and i'm going to need a lot more gilding flakes on this but already i can see that the colors on this are absolutely beautiful and let me remind you it's autumn leaves and it's a beautiful colour I'm just pushing it onto the glue Dust off. 
actually probably I've used just the right amount and I don't actually think there's anything worth putting back to the, into the pot there but just let me rub that and then I'll show you the beautiful beautiful colours on that look at that that is a, a lovely array of autumn leaves colour colours look at that that's beautiful that even looks nice on a small piece not even just a big piece like that right okay that's just dust there's no point in putting that back into the pot I was really frugal there and didn't waste any so yeah we've got that just check that it's bigger bigger than the dome itself it's got a edge all the way around it yep yeah, I like that right now let's get on to the bottles what I normally use is stickers I usually print my stickers out and then get the machine to cut it or you could just print it on sticker paper and cut it out yourself and stick them on right so that's sticker paper but what I'm going to do this time is because I appreciate not everybody's got sticker paper lying around or you can't afford to buy it but you've got printed paper so I've just printed out some labels onto normal copy of paper we're going to cut them out and we're going to glue them on okay so if you've not got sticker paper this is another good alternative right so how many bottles we've we got one two three four five might might not use them all they might not fit under the dome but we'll, we'll go with it and see see what happens okay let's choose my labels i'll just cut a few of these out and see which ones i want i want um building flex all over me there is a poison poison one that i quite like so what i'm doing is i'm just cutting it out Make sure you don't leave any white edges. Okay, you don't want to be seeing any white paper. Okay, so just a simple little, that's a bit of white there. Simple as that, right? Just choose your labels and cut them out. I'll get back to you when I've cut out all the labels. But that's basic copy paper, cut it out, and then we're going to glue it on. Right, I've cut a few labels out here for each one okay i did do one that was a sticker which is for this little one here so we can do that first just simply sticking the sticker one on I'm doing that one first because you've seen me do that a million times but yeah i think i like that little label on that bottle there that looks nice one down right we'll do this big one here it's a lovely bottle this it's got sort of a wonky sort of neck on it not quite round quite wonky but yeah i like that and i've chosen an arsenic poisoning one for that so we're not sticking it on it's not a sticker i wanted to show you that with a bit of tacky glue i've lost my new tacky glue so i've had to buy some more just a different make again kalal tacky glue this time so i'm just going to cover this don't use pva because pva is a wet glue and it will just make your paper crinkle okay and tacky glue dries a lot faster okay so let's stick i want to stick it quite high mainly because i've got a lot of bottles that are going to go in front of this one so i want to be able to see it so i'm just sticking it on with the tacky glue perfect for this job you don't have to have sticker paper okay i've also cut out I sort of um, didn't just cut out basic squares. I cut cut a few of them up um, within and just you know cut out borders and things so they didn't all look too samey. Eh? Just a little um, skull and crossbones that was on another label. I just want to pop that on the back there. Okay, just want to add that little skull and crossbones. the back don't know if you can see it and then the label on the front there that's two down this is just how quick and easy it is to put labels on okay let's get some glue on the back of another label yeah because i do sometimes have people saying oh i haven't got a, a, a cutting machine to cut labels out and you know I don't have sticky sticker paper so i do try and do crafts that everyone can have a go at with just the basic basic things that you have in your, in your little uh, crafty collection okay there's another one done
Okay. Really is that simple. Then the last one, um, I'll cut the labels up into strips. Oops, this one. Because I don't know if you've seen old bottles with the original labels on, but sometimes um, the labels were certainly not straight. <laughs> they were not just straight labels. So put that one there. Let's move that out of the way. Diagonal on that one. Yeah, so although your labels are square and whatever, look, you can see how I've cut the border border off that one there and I've cut that one into lines at the bottom and you see so think outside the box just to make it just a little bit different linseed oil straight on there okay so that's that one right they've got the labels on now let's get rid of the tacky glue in fact you know me very frugal I'm going to put the tacky glue back into the bottle from all my little bits and pieces that I've had in these jars here, I have just a bit of a tinker around and seen um, if we can make stoppers out of them. So for this big one here, I've got a glass stopper. Obviously, we're going to change it. We'll make it um, a little bit more special. So for that one, we'll decorate that stopper. For this one, this bottle, I found this little um, ceramic doodad thing. I found quite a few of these things some sort of insulator thing but that one just sits nicely in there might decorate it or I might leave that as it is because it looks quite nice like that and then for this bottle I've chosen this metal lid which we got from when we went to the lakes I found that right next to the um the lake because <laughs> we found it in the lakes lake district that was found right next to the lake Derwent water I think I'm gonna put on the with that metal lid I'm gonna glue a cork underneath so that it will sit in that bottle okay so that's a stopper for that one we're going to decorate for this bottle i've got one of these ceramic things that i believe pulls wires through houses okay and then i've got a button a button there with like a shank on the back i'm going to glue that onto there and decorate that that will sit nicely on the top of that one and then for this little one I've got this like, looks like a furniture pin. It's all I can describe that as, a furniture pin. Um, so it looks like a little dabber. So I'm gonna use that one in that one and I've got a hat pin bead to go at the end. I probably will gild it because the color doesn't quite match. Okay, so let's get um, gilding and doing whatever it is we want to do with all these stoppers. Get the stoppers on here. Right, I'm not going to gild that one. That little ceramic thing is, I think it's been in a fire. It looks rusty. I like it. So that one can stay like that. And I like that as a stopper as is. Okay, so that's done. Right, so what everything else I think we might. Now I'm going to leave that. Leave that metal one. Glue that cork on because I like colour of that one that just needs glue in that I'm going to gild that I'm going to glue and gild and let me have another look at that one no I think I'm going to just glue I'm just going to glue that one that, that is an okay colour so yeah just a couple that I'm going to gild and a couple that I'm going to glue I've just plugged my glue gun in to do the glue in and while let me move these out of the way and while the glue gun is heating up I shall just put the gilding glue onto these I'll gild that hat pin when I put it on there actually I should have glued it on first right I'm just going to um, get the heat gun onto this um, gilding glue and get it dry
Okay, they're done. The glue gun is done. I glued the, um, sorry, let's get glue strands everywhere. I glued the hat pin onto the top of there. Right, I just want to glue that old cork that I found onto the top of there. Okay, and I just want to glue that onto that metal doodad. Okay, so that's made like a stopper. Okay, with that button and that porcelain thing. And that's made a stopper with the metal cap and an old cork. I went through a phase of picking up all the old corks. Um, I don't know where I've put them, <laughs> but they're knocking about somewhere. I just managed to find this one. Okay, so that the those stoppers are probably going to stay like that unless I add. I see something else and I add glue it to the top. But colour wise, they're probably going to stay that colour. Right, don't need my hot glue gun for the minute, so I'm just going to unplug it. Right, what I do need to do is gild these two little um, stoppers here. So let's get a bit of this out. Oops. Just put glue on the top bit of the stopper. I haven't bothered putting it on the, uh, the stem. Okay, you know the score. You dry your glue and then you apply the gilding flakes. I've had a few people say that they didn't realize that you had to dry the glue. Um, I'm thinking you might have fast forwarded my videos um, because I've always dried the glue. Oh, that's lovely. I've always dried the glue first because that's how it works. That is beautiful. Oh, yes, the colours on that are really, really nice. That one actually says gardens on it as well so it's got a embossing that's come through let's have a look yep yeah, that definitely looks a lot better on that bottle like that okay stopper done on that one let's get the gilding flakes onto this one it's just a case of just getting all your little bits and pieces that you find that you pick up and putting them together and seeing if you can create a stopper with them okay so when you see little metal bits or you know little ceramic bits don't just dismiss if you're a crafter don't just dismiss them because keep them in a pot because it comes in really handy for things like this for making up little stoppers okay oh and that is another one that looks really really nice Right, look at that. That one looks a little bit like a dabber. If you remember, it was a little pin. Can't see it. Little pin there. It's got the hat pin thing on top. So that one is for the little bottle. Okay, so that's looking all right on that one. That one was for that one, wasn't it? Or was it for that one? No, no, it was for that one. So that rusty... Metal one was for that one. Might add something to the top, might not. I'm not going to colour it though. And that one, the button one with the ceramic, was for that one. Okay, I like that. Right, we're done there with the gilding flakes. Okay, we've got the twine. This was a set that I got from um, Hobbycraft. One, two, three, four, five different sorts of twine. Okay. Five different lots there. Right, okay, let's just take one at a time, I think. Let's go for this. Oh, I thought I missed a bottle. There we go. That bottle there. Let's tell you what, we've got that one, so let's do this one first. Let's have a look at it. We're going to put on this one, I think. Let's see how we do it.
okay I'm just gonna wind it round and then find some sort of embellishments to um, add to it let me just cut that do the tie to the side of the bottle like so okay quite like the look of that that looks quite nice just like that don't want to add too much to these ones i want to keep them fairly simple should we have a b on it yep you know what that b that i found in that box i think we'll put that b on there so let's plug let's plug this glue gun in again okay plug it in it should still be hot you can use it cordless that for a while just let me fray the ends of this a bit with it to make it look old okay just frayed the end of the cord okay right and i want to stick that glue on that b on there with the hot glue gun don't forget i don't want these ones overly decorated okay Because usually I gild the bottles and stuff as well, don't I? But I wanted the colour of the bottles um, to shine through on these. Right, okay, there we've got a B. We have got a B on that one there. Okay, so that one looks okay. I don't know if it snaps in focus, then I really don't know. You've got to do it if it does. If it goes out of focus, um, it's because I've got my glasses on for seeing close by, so sometimes can't see. You know what my eyesight's like. Anyway, I like that. It's got a gilded stopper. It's got the twine. It's got the B. So that one is done. Let's put that to one side so it doesn't distract us. Which one next? Let's do this one, the linseed oil one. Let's use a different twine. In fact, let's use a wire use wire and twine no, let's just let's see what the wire looks like i just want a nice long length of this this is just really thin wire that i got off ebay it was a wooden spool i wanted it just happened that it came with the wire so there you go i'll probably tell you that story every time i use it right let's get this wire and let's wrap it round let's get the lid off Okay. So with that one, I think we could possibly attach something to this wire hanging off. <laughs> what have we got? Let's have a look in the box of metal goodies and see if we've got something that we want to hang off this bottle here. Oops. Oops. Ah, all right, got a little metal tag here. A little metal tag. That says find okay and it's definitely a find so I'm going to attach that to there what a great find that was uh, no pun intended okay right we've got lots of lots of goodies in there right honestly I've had that box for about 10 years okay let's put this on here Let's twist it on. Snip that wire. Okay, so that's got the tag on. It's got that on. 
you know what, quite like it. It's simple. It's got the wire. It's got the little metal label on. So far, so good. Let's keep it simple. You know me, I like to add, 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 add. But I just wanted the bottles to shine through on this. Right, with this one, let's use this really fine, fine twine. Okay, that's just probably length, is it? I don't know. Right, let's get one, one length of that. Okay, this is just a fine twine. Okay, do that tight to the side as per usual. that to the side I'm not going to cut anything yet just in case I'll need it to tie something on let's get my little box of goodies out again let's have a look let's have a look these things like three keys three little keys let me just move this box out of the way I've got three keys no can't get it to snap on it I don't think three keys and a little thing anyway a little keychain. I think they would look nice on that. So let's get that tied. Hanging down a bit. on let's snip those snip those ends right there you go keys on that one yep twine and a little set of keys on there miniature keys on that bottle that's looking nice with that list that was just the ceramic burnt ceramic thing that went in the top there there we go right this one let's have a look let's have a look what did we use? We used, we've used that one. We've used that one. Let's try and use different. Right, we'll use this one. No, should we use that big, thick one? No, this one. This one. Right, how should we do this one so it's a little bit different? Right, we might do this and just tie it the once. Okay. As in not wrapping it round loads, might just tie it round once. Yep, one tie and then I'll fray fray the edges, fray the ends. Okay. As you can tell, I am just making this up as I go along. I'm just going to cut these a little bit shorter and then I'm going to completely fray these ends. Let me set that out. Just going to completely fray the ends. There we go. Completely frayed. You just think, just do each one just a little bit different so they're not all the same, but they're all kind of similar. Okay, so we frayed the ends of that, but it does need something sticking on it. So let's find something little. Let's get the box. We can look together. Oops. Just something little. Leaves, cogs. Oh, is that a cuckoo clock? 
is it? Yeah, I think that's like a cuckoo clock. Right, yeah, it might. Shall I glue it? I think I will. Let me just see if I can try and show it you. Okay. Maybe try on this camera up here. That is a little cuckoo clock. Okay, little metal one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it onto here. I'm going to put a blob of glue on there. I'm going to stick it on. Okay, lid on. Right, okay, we've got our bottles. Let me line them up for you. Oh, no, we haven't not done this one. Oh, nearly forgot this little one. I don't even know if this will fit in, but um, we, can, we can try, can't we? Right, that one's only little, so let's have a combination of wire and twine, okay? Let's see if that works. combination of the wire and the twine which fell on the floor oh, I don't need a lot let's just get the same length okay let me just pop them back in the bag yep yeah, gracefully Okay, we've got wire and twine. Let's see if we can try and give it a bit of a twist together. I've folded it in half, bent it in half and twisted it together. Just to give it a little bit of something about it. Okay, a little tiny bottle. Get the lid off. Right, sorry, that's uh, twisted on, but what we're going to add to that? What can we add to that? I'm going to just cut the cut the ends, tiny dab of glue, just to make sure that that twine, I know the wire will stick together, but I just want to make sure that twine doesn't start having a life of its own. Okay, you know what, does it need anything else? Just going to get a little stud off here and see what a little stud will look like. I've got like little tiny paper clip studs, tiny, tiny one. I did have ones that look like um, screws, you know, like a flat head and a... Oh, here we go. Talk of the devil. Talk of the devil. Right, a cross head. These, um, oh, these paper clip things look like um top of a screw I don't know why I bother trying to show it to the front camera trust my trust me that looks like the top of a, a screw head and it's just a, a split pin or a paper clip as we call it but it's just a split pin okay you just split it open um how can we attach that Right, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to see if I can snip off the back of that, actually, the actual bit that spreads open. There we go, and you can. I'm going to pop a bit of glue on it. I'll probably pop the glue on there, actually. Okay. Yep, 
yep, yep, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. Yep. Okay, let's line the bottles up now they are done. Got that one. That one. Little one. There we go. They might not all fit in, but at least they're done. Okay, I think they look quite nice, not having too much on them. Quite simple, label, bit of twine on one embellishment. And I don't think the stoppers need anything else. Some have nothing on at all, and some have been gilded. So yeah, so far, so good. I think the next step is the dome. Right, so now we're getting to the point where we put the label onto the dome. I've already done it on the app, which is for the Cricut Joy. I know if you've seen me uh, craft videos, you know I use the Cricut Joy, but if you haven't seen, um, it's a great little piece of kit, this. It can cut out your stickers, it can cut out your labels, your writing, your pictures, whatever, um, using vinyl, or all sorts of different things. Right, so I'm gonna just send it from here to here, okay? Just gonna go all materials, and I'm going to go to premium vinyl premium vinyl okay because I know that this cuts on the premium vinyl setting it's very 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 easy this machine that's just checking to make sure there's enough vinyl enough room to cut okay and I'm going to press go Okay, it's done, here we have it. I've used a brown vinyl, I was gonna use the gold, but then I remembered last time we used the gold. Do you remember I had terrible trouble trying to get it off the vinyl? So I found a brown one. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to weed it, which means take off all the vinyl um, that we don't want. All right. This one is a very much easy easier peel okay there we go roughly towards the bin then we've got to take out the middles of the letters but yeah cricket joy uh, it, and it is an absolute joy to use you don't need a computer which is fabulous you can work it from your phone um with an app or you can work it from your ipad or your laptop um and you can also use it on your computer as well if you wish but it's, so it's portable you can just take it anywhere you just take it anywhere in the house as long as you've got a plug right okay so there we have it this is the label that i've gone with apothecary with a pestle and mortar and a few herbs or something sticking out of it right so now we have our um transfer tape i know a lot of you are regulars so you know exactly what um what's involved with this but every now and again we do get a new subscriber watching the craft so this is a transfer tape okay and this is sticky but not very sticky not as sticky as the vinyl so i rub the letters onto this transfer tape and the picture make sure it picks up hopefully better than that gold one did if you remember back a few weeks to that one i think it was the dolls thing wasn't it see that's what should happen should just peel off nicely like that okay let's put that to one side let's get this out of the way let's get our jar um tell you what use my t-shirt why not you know what i'm like okay just make sure a bit of rub okay doesn't everybody clean with a t-shirt so i'm going to do it in the center of that bird okay little bird on the top there it's a lovely solid dome 
but I thought a bargain a bargain for £1.50 can't leave it so never think a dome without a base is no good because you just need a log slice or you can just put it over something on your on your cupboard if you've got a nice cupboard right what I'm going to do I'll see if I can try and work to this side camera but otherwise you just have to try and imagine what I'm doing okay just let me turn it around just in case right I'm just getting this sticker and I'm just putting it oops oops oops, oops. straight as I can up there and I'm just rubbing trying to turn it around here rubbing the letters on now because this is curved we might get a wrinkle or two you can always put a little split in it so that it overlaps but you know what it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you can't it can't be helped sometimes with curved things I believe you can get a hairdryer on it and sort of manipulate it that way but it doesn't matter for the purposes of this we'll just do it like this all right so i've just pressed it all on hopefully it's stuck i'll peel it off i do love a vinyl that works Right, I'm just going to give it an extra bit of a rub with the back of my nail. I think you call it burnish. Burnish. You can use like a credit card or some other flat edged something or other. Okay, yeah, something or other is a technical term. Right. Right, I really like oh. Yeah, I really like that. But it was too low but it's not it's just uh it's just high enough because i don't want it to obscure the bottles but no i think that's fine right okay here we go we've got our dome i'm going to place the bottles in here i hope that they all fit and then i'm going to put the dome on top and i should come back and show you what the finished product is like and you know what i think it's going to be fantastic And you know what <laughs> that does actually look quite fantastic even if i say so myself let's clear the decks let's get a good shot of that because i think that that looks fabulous and it's just how i expected it would turn out when i said i'm collecting these amber bottles to do potion bottles with them um as opposed to just the funky shaped bottles that i sometimes get okay I think that looks lovely gilded but still leaving um the wood on the outside imagine going into a chemist an old-fashioned chemist and asking for one of these bottles out of here if you haven't got a log slice it doesn't matter you could just do the bottles and stick the dome over it on your cupboard i think it would work equally as well um yeah so there you go i've done it i've done it again another great craft chosen by you um i know it's quite a, a quick and simple craft but it doesn't matter they don't all have to be complicated and long-winded um so yeah there you go bottles apothecary bottles just as i imagine them imagine them to be a lovely little center piece or sideboard piece there Thank you so much for watching please hit the like please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we put any videos up and also don't forget if you really enjoyed it we have got the coffee link down below which you can donate the price of a coffee to us and we appreciate it very much thanks for watching bye